Have we been lied to about how Christianity began? In 2006, National Geographic magazine published, with great fanfare, a new manuscript of the Gospel of Judas. We were told that this completely changed what we know about Jesus. According to this Gospel, the most famous traitor in the world wasn't really a traitor at all. He was Jesus' closest friend, and Jesus told Judas to hand him over to the authorities. Professor Craig Evans was on the committee that published the Gospel of Judas. We asked him about it. Well, the Gospel of Judas uh, is, is authentic in the sense that it is an ancient writing. It's not a modern hoax. Uh, it was found in a codex that it in turn was found in a uh, Coptic burial cave uh, in Egypt, probably in the year 1978. Uh, the Codex probably dates to about the year 340 or 350 A.D. So it's a legitimate writing from antiquity. And what's really interesting is the church father Irenaeus of Lyon, France, actually refers to it uh, in a work that he wrote against heresies in about the year 180 A.D. So it's a real document. And so it, it's not a fraud, it's not a hoax. The question is, is how early was it written? Well. Uh, this is one of the unusual situations where scholars uh, tend to agree. We all think it was written in the second century. No one claims that the Gospel of Judas was written in the first century, and no one claims that the Gospel of Judas actually tells us about the historical Judas and why he uh, betrayed Jesus. The only real dispute about the Gospel of Judas is how to interpret it. Some think that Judas is being lionized as a hero, uh, that was the initial interpretation uh, when this was uh, made known a number of years ago. However, most scholars today think that actually Judas is just as much uh, a villain uh, in the Gospel of Judas as the rest of the disciples, and that the Gospel of Judas probably was written by a Gnostic group uh, attempting to denigrate uh, the apostolic tradition and therefore as a, like a backhanded swipe at the church make a hero of sorts out of the infamous disciple, the one who had betrayed his master. So I, I don't think uh, scholars, any scholar, is going to claim that the Gospel of Judas gives us a new insight into what Judas and Jesus really were up to. Scholars have dated the new manuscript to around 350 AD. The Gospel of Judas was originally written around 150 AD, that is, 50 years after the Gospels in the Bible. In it, Jesus revealed secret teaching to Judas, which he didn't reveal to the rest of his followers. There are other Gnostic Gospels that follow the same pattern, such as the Gospel of Peter and the Gospel of Mary. The Gospel of Judas is just one more late Gnostic Gospel. It doesn't tell us anything new about the historical Jesus. It doesn't change anything. Next time, we'll look at the best known of all the Gospels that didn't make it into the Bible, the Gospel of Thomas.